We've uh, made um, several more changes uh, yesterday, um, most notably in the player development department and international operations department. Um, and look, you know, it's it's tough stuff, but um, you know, we're uh, trying to reposition our organization for the future um, to compete uh, in our division and in this game. And um, you know, decisions like this are often necessary and difficult. Um, but you know, right now we're. 46 and 97 and um, we've got a long way to go to get better and um, we you know we need to do things differently to get better when you came in November did you anticipate these kind of numbers I mean was that something in the back of your mind you thought or was this just something you were just going to play out um, well you certainly um, come in and um, to whatever degree that is um, that is reasonable that is practicable uh, you try to uh, observe and, and evaluate um, you know with this um, as much uh, care a as you can, uh, but you know, unless I, I, I knew the uh, amount of change that the industry was going through, I knew the amount of change that we had just um, gone through in Houston. I knew what the shape and structure of the Orioles looked like. I knew the fact that you know the Orioles um, were coming off of a very bad record, um, and at the time were perceived to have uh, you know a, a, a middling farm system. And, and yeah, this is not. Um, something that's coming out of left field for me, but that doesn't mean that um, there aren't good people here, really good people. It doesn't mean that the people um, that we've just recently parted ways with are not good baseball people that'll find good homes, but it does mean that uh, change was something that was coming and is the right thing for this franchise right now, um, and specific to our situation, you know, change is, is for the better.